Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. I hope y'all are doing well today. I want to give a quiet gang shout out to Jen, Tyler Russell 212, Jasmine Taylor, and my life on the hill. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back. So I'm gonna do some candy hearts nails today, and I'm working on the Eno Couture XXL coffin nails. Have them on my stand with some wall tack holding them on. All I did was clip off the number on the end and hand file them straight. And I'm just going to go ahead and start painting them with my base color. So the color that I'm using is the Enel Couture Precious Minerals N138. It's this kind of like icy white with some type of glitter particle flake in there. All the glitters I'm using are from Nail Heaven Supply Store. I have a code femi.beauty10 for 10% off. And this is Dazzle. All of the glitters I'm using are kind of like twinkles. And then I have one that's a like a dot, which is called Dippin' Dots. It's a matte multicolor. Then Powerpuff Girl is pink, a twinkle, and Chandelier is a silver. Twinkle. So those are the ones that I'm using. So to apply the glitter, I'm going to use a base coat gel. You can use any gel to do this, any base coat gel. Um, I don't really think that there's any that are like particularly exceptional to me. So I'm really just going for like this all over glitter scattered look and I'm using a random gel brush just to pick these up. I am trying to think about like where I'm going to put my um, candies later. So after that has cured, I'm going to seal it in with top coat. I'm using Shiny from Eno Couture and I'm using a lot of top coat to really seal in the glitter. But I am going to go in with a second top coat again on top of this. So 
for my second layer of top coat just to seal the glitters in really well. I'm gonna use the glitter top coat. So it's like a hollow glitter and I like that it doesn't have a tacky layer. So I'm just gonna do a second top coat on these nails and it's just gonna add a really subtle glittery sparkle shine to these. Okay, so the next thing is to make some candy hearts. And I'm using a silicone mold. I'm using a silicone mold because they come out really uniform and perfect. So this mold has two hearts, actually three. So I'm gonna use the biggest one. And I'm using all like pastel colors and some white as well. I'm gonna have everything linked down below as usual. So I'm just taking a bead. I'm gonna bleed it out on the back of some paper so that it's not super runny. That way it can set up faster. If you put a really runny bead inside your mold, it's gonna take so long to fully set. And then I'm also going to be wiping up all the excess so that it's super clean around the edges. And then I'm just gonna leave it to set up. So I made 10 and I'm gonna be putting two on each finger. So the next thing we're gonna do is take this gummy jelly and I'm using this to apply the hearts. So this actually does have a tacky layer to it. So I'm gonna put a little bit of the glittery top coat right on top so that hopefully it can take care of that tacky layer. I would definitely recommend that you use something like this or clear acrylic to apply this because this is such a big piece. It's not like a flat back stone. It really sticks off the nail. So you're gonna need something like pretty sturdy or heavy duty. So I'm taking the glittery top coat and just like going on top basically. This as a concept was very strange for me at first, but I just did it and like went for it and it seemed to be okay. Um, it's kind of weird. It feels like it's mixing with the brush on the top coat. Um, I don't know, but I'm trying to like float it over. But yeah, I don't know how successful that is. I'm not sure. I'm gonna try to like, well, I'm trying to like turn them a little bit so that they're not just sitting up perfectly straight. And definitely do press them down into the adhesive so that they can like really get down in there. So to do the writing on the nail, I'm using Perfect Red from Madame Glam. And use the smallest dotting tool you can find. I'm using this end of the bling tool from Enel Couture because it is so small. And I like using dotting tools instead of brushes because you really can just hold it like a pencil and that just seems to be so much easier to write that way. Also, definitely do it when it's on the stand. Trying to write on these hearts is just super hard to do unless they're like on something real sturdy like this.
I would cure every couple of um, hearts that you write on. That way they don't start like moving around, flowing and stuff. But yeah, that's about it for that. Um, some other tips I have is like for when you're writing out stuff, if it's like a four letter word, I would write like the first letter and the last letter then try to fill in the middle to meet them. That way you know you have enough space to like fill in the rest of the phrase that you're trying to write. So to finish these nails, the last thing I'm going to do is put a matte top coat right on top of all of these hearts. And I'm putting a pretty generous amount because I just like the way that it looks when they're kind of like bubbled up and built up a little bit. So I'm like floating this on quickly and I'm going to stick that in. I'm using the Crystal Nails Matte Ever Matte Top Coat, by the way. So y'all, this is the final result of the design today. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please let me know down below what you guys think of this set. And if you are new, please subscribe, hit that notification bell so that you guys never miss any updates from me. I love you guys all so much. Please have an amazing day or night. Thank you so much to my patrons. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Love you. Bye.